Out and about, we pay a visit to Scotland and take a peep at Pitt and Weem, the picturesque fishing town that's so typical of the Firth of Forth. The boats have just come in with a catch of whitefish and the gulls have heard about it. The two minute long British Pathé clip the images seen here takes from is perhaps the most complete, readily available old footage of my hometown, Pitt and Weem. And maybe it's just as well for the Arsenal that the London team aren't in the same league. When accessing the Scottish National Film Archive website, a search for Pitt and Weem shows most results are unavailable for online access, and for the most part the ones that are feature mere seconds of the village hidden in compilations of the surrounding area. In addition to the long-term aim of a broader archival project of Hit and Weem that I will attempt to instigate during my Masters next year, I looked at the very least establish a sort of archive to preserve my personal memory of growing up here. I was somewhat inspired by the 2022 documentary Duchess, which uses unearthed home footage to paint a picture of life in the Isle of Burnery in the 60s and 70s, and the feeling of having Burnery as home according to those who have both spent their life there and those who have deep familiar connections. In my head when searching for home footage I was imagining one that would be an unadulterated look at childhood, but I realised this wouldn't be the case. After all my parents and I would have only got the camcorder out for things we wanted to be documented. As described in the previous quote, even home footage is filmed in a manner conscious of how we appear outwardly. There's still a social objective and a level of selectivity, such as explored by Derrida and Archive Fever, at play. What is it, cheese? Daddy. Yes. Well, I've got a good idea for Harry Hill. What's that? Um, you see that man-made loch? We could remember there's little bits of ice that we were sla sliding on. Mm -hmm. Well, we could slide on that, and then we keep on videoing it until we have a proper fall over that someone actually falls over in real life. Yeah, that might work. You can see this intention by sifting through what was recorded by my parents. From days at Disney to Christmas to different games, it's like looking at a best of compilation of your childhood. <laughs> Where this differs from the home videos found in public archives is that there's a lack of sorting through. What's recorded may be intentional, but while searching I found many examples of mistaken filming, recordings being stopped due to things going wrong, and young me taking the camera and recording minutes worth of nonsense that have survived against the odds due to footage never being sorted through. Something about these gives it somewhat more of a genuine feel when looking back at them. When comparing this to other, much more prominent unsorted archives, such as those found from Margaret Tate, the personal nature of mine made me attribute far more to these often tossed aside scraps than I otherwise would have. What, Sam? It's not, not fair, it's just... I found it first. Sam. First of all, we need to feed the cats. You might not want to record this, Sam, because this isn't going to be the most interesting. Okay, I'm going to stop recording now. Sam. What? Alright, Ali, water, please. Actually, man! Looking back at this old footage helps to give a completely different perspective of growing up and my environment around me in Pitt and Weem. Growing up I was desperate to move somewhere less stagnant, but looking back it's so easy to spot all of the minor changes in person and in surroundings. In Archive Fever, Derrida refers to a desire to return to the origin of things through the archive, and this is apparent in the whole movie too. It's hard not to get emotional looking at anything from your old school that you'll never see the same way again. A childhood pet. Do, 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 do. To a favourite toy that's now stuck in an attic. Isn't that too cool? Let's carry on. The Beatles! And even the fact that the kitchen I grew up feeling cramped in can only be visited now through these videos that seemed so mundane at the time. Do, 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 do.
Derrida obviously isn't referring to the home movie format in particular in Archive Fever, but that quote in particular was one that rang true for me with regards to thinking about the future through the lens of the past. Duchus was one film that ignited this. These images helped to unite those with a connection to the island of Burnery, and the film closed with a look at the future of the Gaelic language. I can't speak enough on the extent to which looking back has really helped me both develop a focus for the future and get a whole new appreciation for my hometown. My interest and passion for film archiving and preservation that I'm now pursuing as a career largely stemmed from my wish to help preserve and represent Pitt and Weem in the archives. In this regard, the archive is about the responsibility for tomorrow, both individually from my childhood memories and collectively. Even though I've seen these places many times before and since, revisiting the places that the home footage was filmed with them in mind felt like seeing them for the first time again. On a physical level, the old fishing town hasn't changed too much since the Pathé footage from 1939. The fishing industry has slowed down, but a quaint atmosphere and a popular arts festival keep the village going. But seeing a 15 years younger version of me occupy the same space that I did now just shows how much personal change has gone on, in myself and in turn with others. At weekends, it's quite a different story. Scots fishermen don't put out on Sunday, and the quaint old hollow in the cave, that's the Gaelic meaning of Pit and Weem, is at rest. And that, we're just going up to Titan. Well, Titan, no, that... It's so good. What's that? Ready to play some space golf? Ready. We're following you, Cadet Baby Bell. What can you see? Steps. Steps, okay. I want you all to introduce yourselves for the camera, okay. for the mission I log. When I was growing up, I was desperate to move away to the biggest place my young mind could imagine. First that was a neighbouring village, and then to my grandparents in Aberdeen, to Germany, and, and then to New York. But this exercise and this topic of film archiving in general has really helped me to fall in love with my village all over again. If all goes to plan, I will continue to use the medium to preserve and pay homage to my village, with the aim of getting the opportunity to communicate with senior members of the village to preserve footage of generations of Pitt and Weemers past before it's too late. Yeah! What's your name? I was born in Glasgow, but all I can remember is Pitt and Weem. I used to shy away from this, telling people I was from Glasgow, but looking back has helped me be more proud of my hometown, Pitt and Weem, than I have ever before. Yeah.